All right, guys, so I just stopped at Always Discounts here. Picked up just a little square bill, crankbait, and a little pack of 20 treble hooks. This is like $7.50. Not the best deal, but saving a buck here and there is always good. And I needed a square bill and some trebles for my guard fishing, so it's good stuff. Always Discounts, definitely check it out. I recommend. I got a pack of flukes from there for two bucks. I got a rod and reel from there that lasted quite a while for like $30. It's a good place to get decent little tackle for cheap. But now I'm about to be on my way to Barnett Park, which was the place I started my channel catfish hunt at. But I have tiny, small circle hooks. So hopefully I'll be able to actually land my first channel catfish today. I'm really just gonna go there, catch one and leave if I do, hopefully. I, there's nothing else there in that whole park I need to catch probably. So. We'll see how that goes. All right, here we are. Back at Barnett Park. Let's see if I can't get my first channel catfish finally. I'm so sick of this fish. Almond caught Seminole killifish, bass, largemouth, of course, and bluegill last time I was here. There is tilapia and channel catfish. Those are my targets today. Cross your fingers. Man, there's so many species right in front of me. I'm gonna see if I can creep up here and see if I see anything interesting. There's a bunch of really small fish right there. I don't know what they are. Let's see if I can find out. Oh, what? Yo, I just missed a cichlid. Oh my god, what is this? Holy crap! A black acara! Wow, man! It's like once you finally catch a species, you start finding them everywhere. Unbelievable, man! He has a little piece out of him right there, something got to him. Let's get a picture of him, get on a release, a little tanago. First fish of the day, a black acara. That's so cool. Now that's just insanity, man. Oh yeah, something really got to him good, like a turtle. Let's get him out of here. Get him released. There are so many species right here. What are those, dude? There he goes. That's awesome. Oh, dude, I thought that was a stick. I'm snagged. <laughs> it struggles with micro fishing. Sometimes you gotta reach your hand in there just to get your hook back and spook all the fish you're after. Damn it. No. Oh my God, I don't want to do that again, man. What the heck? Let's see what this is. A little blue tilapia. This might be my, my smallest blue tilapia yet. Holy crap, it's tiny. I need a picture of him. Second species of the day, blue tilapia. He's doing tray flips in my hand. Let's get the release on this Tanago blue tilapia. Gone. On to the next species. All I see in here is like a million baby cichlids. So many of them. I have all the bait I could ever want right here. I'm gonna go set up for my catfish now and maybe come back. That's two species for the day already, both exotics. Here we are. 
channel catfish spot number one. So here's what we need for the rig. I got this little egg sinker, size six octopus circle hook, a bead. I have my main line, which is like eight or 10 pound test, I can't remember. And then I have this 17 pound mono, which I'm gonna use as leader. Basically, you just put your weight through. There you go. Then you put your bead. There we go. We'll just do the basic, I guess, I don't know. What is it, uni to uni? I don't know. As always, trim your tag end with your teeth because you're a redneck. And then just snell up your hook. Oh yeah. Now I gotta figure out whether worms are gonna work or if I'm gonna have to go catch some cichlids and put them on my hook. But I think I should be fine with a little red worm. That's my rig tied. End result here. Cute little catfish rig. Multi-species fishing tip of the day. Carry around a cooler bag a small little lunch cooler bag type deal with a bunch of frozen stuff and your worms in a Tupperware. I've had these worms forever. As you can see, you can't really tell, he's kind of like lazy right now, but they're still alive. And I've had these worms forever. See that? There you go. You can see them. They're still alive, man. They're good. They're just super cold right now, and that's a good thing. You want to keep them cold. Keep your money saved. Little piece of red worm on a fish finding rig, Carolina rig, whatever you want to call it. Size 6 Gamagatsu. This should be a recipe for my first channel catfish. Even though probably going to be tiny. I do not care. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we can do. I'm going to go catch a little tilapia and use it as bait. I only want the baby tilapias. There they are. That is the smallest tilapia in the world ever caught on a hook and line. <laughs> wow, man. That thing is so small. Go add them to my size six hook with the night crawler. A little surf and turf for these catfish. Surf and turf. No! Nice red eye bluegill. Look at his face. Little bluegill. Rest in peace, bluegill. You're a very beautiful fish and I love you. Yeet. Dude, his eye came out. His whole face exploded. That's insanity. Holy crap. He destroyed it. Look, it destroyed my little worm. Oh my god, I got a bite. I got a bite. No. No. Bro, I'm being like really annoying in this episode and like cursing and yelling and screaming with dude, I'm so sick of this fish. I'm having such a rough day trying to target it. It's just, it shouldn't be this hard. 
I don't understand this place. Every time I come here, I get bites and they drop it. Bites, drop it. Bite. I have a sliding rig and my drag set, like a size six circle hook. What? Seriously, what am I doing wrong? Oh my God! Black car is just staring at me. There's so many of them. Wow. So pretty. Dang. Is this gonna turn into another micro fishing video? Let's get a shot of this guy. He's the prettiest one I've ever seen. My second black Akara. Maybe I can get a decent release video for once. Awesome. There's another one right there. Look at him pulling that leaf. What a good guy. I won't catch you. You're fine. You can just chill. Alright guys, it's, it's today. I'm sick of this. I cannot catch a channel catfish. I don't understand how I missed that fish. One bite, one channel cat bite. It's like a big waste of my time, man. All right, so I met this guy. He's telling me he knows the deal about the catfish. So he, he's gonna help me try to get on my first channel cat. I'm gonna try for like another hour maybe, and then I'm gonna get out of here. He caught two of them. He caught two of them, huh? Yeah, right out like that. Bloop. Right up there, huh? Yeah, he caught two of them right in this spot, right here. All right, well, hopefully I can get mine. Do your thing. I'm going to be next to you. All right, I'll let you know if I get anything. <laughs> All right, man, I appreciate your help, bro. Right. Little piece of red worm. He basically just said, so right out in front of me, right? Yeah. All right. I just saw something come get some air right there. All right, cross your fingers. Hopefully this is it. And, oh shit. Yes, finally. Yes, finally. Fuck, short strike. No, he's on, he's on there. Is he on there? He's on there. You want a challenge cat? Maybe a challenge cat. Dude, yes, 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 <laughs> bro, thank you so much, dude, oh my god, you have no idea how long I've been after this fish, oh my god, finally, oh my god, I can't believe it, finally, 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 yeah, I said, come on back down here. Yeah, he was like, I got you, man. I was about to leave. I said, you could have catch your channel cat today. That's, that's a channel cat. A baby little channel cat. You guys see the little dots on them? Let's say you know it's a channel. That's the cat you've been looking for. What? I've been after this fish for so long. You have no idea, man. <laughs> Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Yep. Exactly where you want it. You're right. So perfect. perfect. Yeah. That's All right, let's get this guy unhooked. Get a picture, and I'll be back. All right, if you were bigger, you'd be food. But you're a little guy, so you, you don't get donated to the locals. Oh my God, finally, finally, after all that frustration. Hey, he was frustrated when he was getting rid of Ebers, really. I did it, guys. I caught my first channel catfish. It was a stocked cat, I don't care, man. There is no native cats around my area, I swear there's not. But, sorry I couldn't record my outro over on the water. There's people over there, I don't really like putting people in my video too much. But man, this guy helped me out. I was getting ready to leave, I was so frustrated. I probably edited some of my frustration into the video, so you probably saw that, but I was so frustrated just getting ready to leave. My man was right here with his fishing pole and I was like, dude, I've been trying, trying. He's like, you know what? Come on, you can't leave, dude. 
he told me come back out there with him he showed me where and I caught my first channel catfish and it wasn't easy I had to wait like a good hour before I got that bite and of course I didn't set my drag or I had my drag set and I didn't tighten it enough and I, I am so bad at fishing with circle hooks like so bad at it and it's it's not that I don't know it's all about remembering what I have to do in the heat of the moment because my ADHD gets in the way and I forget so that was tough and I easily could have lost that fish but I felt that he was still on and got him in so the circle hook was right where it needed to be everything was perfect size 6 everything was perfect I'm so happy so happy I didn't even want to record this here but it's raining super raining right now but today was awesome man can't believe I caught my first channel catfish finally it took forever I that was actually the same exact place I went to in the first video where I targeted channel catfish and I think it's crazy I caught tilapia and channel catfish at the same place I started targeting both of those fish I didn't catch either one of them there for the, the first time I went of course or the second or the third which I didn't really record those but still today I caught black acara blue tilapia bluegill and of course channel catfish that's a great multi-species day. I actually met my first fan today. We got to talking while we were both fishing and he was like, I think I know you, man. I think I subscribed to you. And I told him my YouTube channel name. He's like, yeah, I'm a fan. He hasn't even seen the Leo video yet. So that means this guy was around since, I don't even know. Thank you everybody from Leo's channel. This is crazy. I cannot believe that all this is happening so fast.